Hello, this is Robert in the Technical Support Department of Go Engineer, and I'm here to share with you some what's new in SolidWorks 2014. Service Pack Zero just came out, and I thought I'd share you uh, a couple of features that I thought were pretty exciting. Um, here we've got our SolidWorks window, new look. Let's start a new part. We're going to talk about splines really quick. This is going to be a short one start a sketch so they've added a new feature to 2014 where you can actually fix the length of a spline so I've just drawn a quick little spline here and just to show you what splines behavior used to be and well and still is if you don't set a dimension if I grab this point and drag it around you can see that you get some pretty extreme stretching in the spline it used to be that if you wanted to figure out the length of the spline, you needed to use the measure tool. Now I've got the toolbar set up here already. That's the button. But if you right click on your toolbars list, that's the toolbar right there, the tools toolbar. So you go to measure, click on the line, and then you can get the length. And it's, you know, it's pretty good to, to, to find out what it is, but if you want to fix it, and make it a set length, you'd had to play with your spline and remeasure it over and over again until you got the length that you wanted. Now you can just use the smart dimension tool and just click on the line and you get this dimension that shows up. So uh, just just for, for reference, the measure tool uses the arc length. That's what this length is here. The chord length is something different. So I'm going to set this to 10 and hit escape once and now you'll see instead of deforming the the arc you know the line to ridiculous proportions in order to um, you know and then leaving the points still now the line and the points move in order to enforce this length dimension so I'm gonna pull out another spline again just to compare and contrast so this is a similar shape again if I grab this one all of the points stay still except for the one that I'm dragging and the line deforms to move with it and because of that the arc length changes drastically as we work and in this case as I move it around the points move and the arcs move this has been Robert from Go Engineer Technical Support Department have a great day